Statins, widely prescribed, highly promoted, and highly profitable, used mainly to lower cholesterol and fight against heart disease. But questions about possible side effects are leading many to wonder if the benefits outweigh the risks. Kelly Crow has that story. Jim Matheson faced a decision. In his late 50s with high cholesterol, his doctor wanted to prescribe statins, a class of drugs that lowers cholesterol. Should he take them? His doctor gave him the odds. Within five years, he said, I had a 20% chance of either having a stroke or a heart attack. So would the statins help? It depends how you read the statistics. So about one in 100 people will benefit over a period of five years. But put another way, statins won't help 99 out of 100 people who take them to prevent a first heart attack. Well, there are a lot of uh, patients uh, out there taking the drugs right now who don't have a history of heart disease, who are hoping to prevent heart disease and will in all likelihood derive absolutely no benefit. Add to that growing evidence of side effects, including a series of papers over the last few weeks confirming that statins increase the risk of diabetes, muscle damage, even kidney damage, and blunt the effect of exercise. It's not at all clear whether that chance of benefit uh, is uh, outweighs the possible chance of being harmed by the drug. Don't kid yourself. Talk to your doctor about your risk and about Lipitor. Statins are pharmaceutical superstars. They're among the biggest selling drugs of all time, and they've been aggressively marketed directly to patients. But increasingly, the medical journals are debating whether the benefits are worth the risks. The studies agree that people who've already had a heart attack can benefit from statins. But most of the people who take them have never had a heart attack. People like Jim Matheson, who are told they have high cholesterol. So what did he decide? I decided not to take the pills. And five years later, eating healthier food and exercising, he hasn't had his cholesterol rechecked, but he says he feels fine. And he follows the medical debate closely, especially since his brother started taking statin. For every article he sent me on how good they are, I've sent him 20 that says how bad they are. And we're still having a dialogue. It's a dialogue experts say everyone should be having with their doctor. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.